Good evening. Um, we'd like to know why you're here. Okay. <laughs> I honor the invitation of His Excellency President Bola Metinibu, who is a father to the nation, uh, who God has given the opportunity to lead the country at this uh, difficult time. And so I came to celebrate and congratulate him, and then to also uh, give him our commitment that as citizens of the country, this is a time for all of us to throw our weight behind and support the administration. I gave um, an, an illustration of an aircraft, an aircraft that has taken off. The aircraft is the country. The passengers are the citizens. The pilot is Mr. President. His co-pilot is Excellency the Vice President. The cabin officials might be the ministers or other agents of the Federation. You may not like the takeoff of the airplane. You may have even your perspective about the way the pilot is, you know, walking towards the turbulence, you know, above the sea level. But one fact that must bind all of us is that the plane needs to land so all of us can be alive. When it lands, you can also say you don't like the way it lands. But at, at the 39,000 feet above sea level, the prayer of everybody, including the pilot and the passenger, will be the safe landing of the car, of the plane. Because if the plane crashes, apart from the aircraft getting destroyed, the pilot, the co-pilot, the cabin members, and all the passengers' life at risk. So at this difficult time, what we need is to throw our support and then see how uh, we're able to navigate around. Because there are difficult things in this country, hardship, poverty, insecurity. And the only way we can come together and support the achievement of this objective, I think, is for us to give our best in supporting uh, the administration. So I came to congratulate him and then to tell him that I'm particularly excited about the recent policy decision he has taken to demonstrate that he's about the people and not just protecting his people. He took decisions against certain ministers who allegedly were you know, said to have committed infraction. Uh, the marked difference between him and the previous administration is that the previous administration may want to cover in order to avoid the backlash that the government is corrupt. But he is not uh, about that. If this thing will touch on the poorest of the poor, humanitarian, that's the focus. And anybody who is caught wanting should not be covered. I told Mr. President I was thrilled by that decision. Yesterday again, he surprised us by the policy decision he has made to reduce the cost of governance. So it is like the unfolding. The most important thing in my communication with him was to look at his demeanor as he was talking to me about his passion for the country and the intention, you know, to make sure that he leads a country with integrity. And uh, you can have opinion from outside. When you sit from across table and you hear him, you can see what I've been taught as a lawyer is you not just know the law, you must know the demeanor of the judge. This informs your capacity to advocate. And that's what I did today. I was looking at the demeanor. I could see the passion and the conviction to lead. And that, to me, is exciting. It's not about party. Okay. This is about the country. Let me misconstrue your visit here today as a member of the major opposition, PDP. Right. Uh, they were wondering, are you defecting? I mean, you've been speaking here like in capacity of an individual a citizen. Yeah. Are you in that capacity? Are you defecting to the APC? Or have you defected? Or have you well, I'm here as a private citizen and uh, who must be bound by the conviction we have towards our country and the need for us to push the country to a better uh, place that we all desire. So I'm not here in the capacity. Of, first of all, I'm not even a leader in the, in the PDP. I'm a private citizen. But you must also admit that I have had my history with Mr. President. When I was in APC, before the primaries, I was practically his key spokesman as at the time. And I supported his cause because I believed in him. And so I used this opportunity today to even touch on some of those past. And I'm very happy that instead of the president getting actually offended, he, he, he gave me some life lesson. You know, about the fact that in life, if you are going to be offended because people took decisions that didn't favor you, you would never be helpful to anybody in life or you can never relate with people. And so that, that, that largeness of the heart to me is encouraging. And uh, I am also here to say I am supporting President Bola Ametinibu in achieving the objective of the problems, the problems we are in the country. I don't think that at this time of hunger and problems in the country, somebody should be here talking about uh, party. And as per defection, God knows tomorrow. 
but I am fully committed to supporting the cause of President Bola Ametinubu. That has to be made clear. Thank you very much.